business or you're an inspiring leader. So tonight is about two things. It's about leadership and it's about emotional intelligence. And it's important that these two things go together. Tonight I'm going to start with the leadership aspect and then we'll be moving into what is emotional intelligence, why is it important, why is it important to leadership, and then give you a chance to learn a little bit more about yourself and your leadership style as well as learning a little bit more about other people's uh, behavioral styles and, and preferences because as leaders, it's going to be important, or you probably know this already, it's important to be able to understand how other people tick. Meditate. <laughs> <laughs> well, and I know for me, there are times when I am like so fast-paced. Yeah. I, I mean, I used to love being able to spin on a dime and get uh -huh. to everything, you know, throw yeah. it all up in the air yeah. and all that. But there are other times when it absolutely, I know that I need to make that space for thoughtful, considered yes. action. And depending on the task is part of that. Of course. And what we're actually going to be demonstrating, you'll, you'll find yourself in that dilemma of which one do I choose because there's sometimes when I'm like this and there's sometimes when I'm like that. And um, I'm asking you for the moment to go, where are you naturally more comfortable? And I think pace is actually one of, this is like, again, unscientific, but it's something I've noticed over 20 years of doing this work. Pace can be one of the most critical factors in a relationship in terms of differentiating people. Um, because we can have different politics, we can have different perspectives, but our pace can either be, we can, we can work it out because we're similar, or we balance each other out because we're different, or we drive each other crazy. And it can often be based on pace. So just to have that awareness. Treating others as they want to be treated, and that is a job for the leader. Because motivation is something that a leader cannot do to somebody, but they can create an environment in which some people are motivated. So the goal for this kind of knowledge is how do you as leaders create an environment where people are motivated to work together towards a, a shared aim. So hopefully you've, you've gained some insights from this. This again was just a little introduction to a very, very powerful tool. I know some of you have done this before. Know that a one, one disc workshop is not the whole thing. <laughs> There's so many layers of learning with this sort of thing. I've been studying it for over 20 years and I'm still getting insights. Um, but I hope that tonight you do have at least one thing that you'll take away from this that you can apply to your life, to your leadership, that will make you not only more grounded and authentic in yourself, but also more effective with others. Ingrid is such a dynamic presenter. Part of what was going on for me was thinking, man, I wish I could present like her. <laughs> so, but um, I, really, I really can't wait to take the DISC assessment that she taught us about and, um, and to just learn about different uh, styles of communication and styles of leadership and how we can work together as